Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Triangle Strategy Walkthrough. Alright, so this is going to be the uh, the final pass through the game. Uh, this is actually New Game Plus number three. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, New Game, so it was my first path, pass, it was uh, uh, Benedict's route, or Benedict's ending, however you want to say that. Uh, second pass was, uh, you know, and I should say, uh, Benedict's route then, you know, and, and th like the sub choices uh, led to the recruitment of Travis. Uh, then my second pass through the game, which was New Game Plus, you know, number one, uh, which was, uh, you know, uh, choices that led up to Trisha's recruitment uh, and then Frederica's ending. Uh, and then the third pass, which I had just you know, completed, which is technically New Game Plus number two. Uh, that was kind of the all of the, like, the Roland route choices, uh, where we actually recruited Cordelia, uh, and then did um, Roland's ending. So now this is going to be the final pass through the game, uh, the fourth kind of route, and this is going to be the Golden Path. So uh, actually in this one, and I, I've actually already done that, right? I, I did... I did actually two passes through the game kind of off camera and then I just wanted to actually get them kind of on camera and, and just show you all of the different, uh, you know, things that you can get and the, the different scenes or the scenes that change and whatnot. So um, we will end up getting Milo on this pass, which again I already have, and then a Vlora is actually available as well uh, when you actually do the, uh, the golden path. So um, let's get this started. Uh, we'll uh, load up my uh, game on my epilogue here so that's the uh, that was the Roland route uh, and as usual here, here we'll be playing on hard mode because it's fun all right let's get to it on the faraway continent of Norzelia three mighty powers reigned the kingdom of Glenbrook through which runs the mighty Norzelia River bringing flourishing trade the Grand Duchy of Esfrost a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolffort of Glenbrook, whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Lord Serenoa? Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master. Lord Serenoa. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day, not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. 
I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord, but you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Woolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon? I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way. Right. Um, so as usual here, we we'll want to go into the uh, the encampment right off the bat. Uh, I I think I really just need to make sure that my characters are equipped. Uh, let's see what uh, Lionel's got. I don't remember if he yeah he doesn't really have anything interesting right off the uh, right off the jump. Um, I'm really you know being that this is <laughs> this is actually kind of. Man, technically like my seventh pass through the game, um, because I did two, you know, off off camera, but, um, you know, again, at, at this point, really the only thing that's interesting are these, the bracelets. Uh, amulets are, are even, you know, kind of outdated and have been for quite a while, so uh, I'm not going to worry too much about those. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Cure all. I don't know, a lot of this stuff just kind of doesn't really matter uh yeah we're looking pretty good so all right uh and and you know not not really going to be anything new with uh with uh, archibald either uh the one thing that would be new that i'm not actually going to do uh quite yet but uh one of these and i don't remember which one it is right so you unlock uh, i think it's one one of these for every uh like ending you go through I guess and I don't remember which one is which but one of these would have been available probably the Iron Gates by going um, with Roland's route which again was the last time so I think like I don't know maybe it's liftoff maybe that's Benedict's final um, th this one unlocks with, with Benedict's route I guess I could check this I don't know that I I don't know that it's all that, yeah, it's not all that impressive, I don't think, or all that needed. Or maybe, maybe Liftoff is like the the one that's uh, that's automatically uh, unlocked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, before the Goddess, I'm just assuming this is Frederica's like, path. And then maybe maybe Long Trek was, uh, what else, what, what would that have been? It's Benedict, Frederica, Roland, yeah, there's one extra here. So one of these must be... Well, the Assassins is definitely the Golden Route. Which, again, I've already done. But yeah, I don't I don't know. Maybe one of them is the default. Maybe, like, Liftoff is default. And then, like, maybe the Long Trek is... You know, Benedict's Route. I don't know. I, I should just look this up, because now it's going to bother me if I don't. And I think I actually went through these uh, last time as well. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just one of those deals where I have to just re, uh, re familiarize myself. Um, all right, so lift off is 
Yeah, this is just it unlocks during new the, your second new game plus during chapter one of Young Hawk Soars. So that's basically a just a default unlock. Uh, under the Iron Gates is Roland's ending. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, before the Goddess, that's Frederica's. Yeah, I think I got these. I think I got these almost completely correct. I, okay, I got those two correct. Long Trek is Benedict's ending. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so liftoff is default. You know, again, your second New Game Plus. Under the Iron Gates is Roland. Before the Goddess is Frederica's ending. A long trek is Benedict's ending. And then the Assassins uh, is uh, after the Golden ending. So, um, <laughs> anyways, Jesus, let's move on. Um, let's see here. I don't need to do any upgrades. Everybody's all... You know, fully upgraded weapon wise. Oh shoot, I forgot. So let's open. Oh, I went to the or I went to the uh, wrong option here. I need to go to the roster. All right, so Roland is uh, is here. Oh, he's he's still actually equipped with stuff. Oh, but here. Okay, so uh, because I went with Roland's route last time, uh, Frederica doesn't have anything uh, equipped right now. Um, I guess I'll give her the, a magic bracelet and then. Boy, what else would she be good with? Let's just see. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe an ice amulet just to, you know, kind of shore up her her issues with with ice. But uh, I'm still not gonna do any of the. Uh, or my my plan is to beat this without, you know, dying. So like resurrection earring isn't gonna do me any good. Red anklet wouldn't be so bad. But she's probably not going to be getting a whole lot of kill shots. I think I'll just go with the Ice Amulet just to, you know, shore up her issues with Ice. I think I've just generally done that with her. Um, Roland, though, let's grab the... Uh, let's grab the Vanguard Scarf. That The first battle is, uh, is just a little goofy for him because, you know, if you don't have this... And, um, and you just kind of let him sit there. He takes a shot from uh, Trish right away because she's so fast. Uh, and I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab another spe speed bracelet off of somebody else. Because I think some, let's see, Travis, Trish, Aflora, Archibald, Kohog. Let's grab the one off of Travis. Because we're not going to be... Obviously, he's not going to be available for this next battle. Alright, I'm going to... I'll put um, a speed amulet on him for the time being. Just because I... There's a, there's a really good chance that I just forget to re-equip him. <laughs> um, I think Serenau is probably fine. Uh, I've got him with the critical necklace and the lock bracelet. Uh... You know, Roland needs all of the strength that he can get because he's so weak. Um, that looks pretty solid. Gila, speed amulet, defense bracelet. That's probably fine too. All right, so let's uh, let's save, and we'll get this next or the the first battle started. The bell tolls for no one. I love that that final chapter name. Reminds me of Metallica. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, that, that ending was so good with Svarog basically just completely destroying Esfrost. It's so ridiculous. Um, all right, anyways, an Esfrosty warship arrives at uh, Wolfort Harbor where a woman with rose-colored hair and her attendant disembark. Thank you for the escort. You are free to go. Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother... The Archduke, know that. 
As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost, and for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle's heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, we'll do the, the first battle here in the Woolfort Harbor in the next video. So as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.